So it's a month out. My room has been paid for and I'm currently halfway through my summer job. And after that's over, I guess I'll just be working my normal hours until it's time to leave. But right now, I'm working 50 hours a week. So here's the thing. My name's Alex. I'm 20 and I like doing video stuff. You probably haven't seen any of my previous work. It's all unlisted or deleted on all 70 or so YouTube channels I've created. I think I'm okay at it. I actually won an award once, but that was three years ago and I've kind of just been coasting off that ever since. I live in the beautiful little city of Elmira, New York. It's a quiet little town with a dead downtown area, a rampant prescription opioid issue, and is one of two cities nationwide that's still undergoing a recession. But it's not all that bad. This is my dad. I live with him. He's great, but it's time for me to move out. I had two real choices. Quit my job and move somewhere where I can find video work to pursue my dreams, move somewhere else in Elmira, find another part-time job to supplement my current one, and give up on my dreams. This is an experiment to see if the former idea will work. From September 1st to the 30th, I'll be living in Brooklyn, New York City. I have some savings, a spreadsheet to track everything, and if at the end of the 30 days I have in my accounts the amount of money I started with, I will know that city living and freelance gigs is sustainable, and I'll continue the experiment for another month. If I have less than that, I have to move back. I don't quite know what the goal is yet, but if my math is right, I think it'll be somewhere around $3,000. My rent is around $800, so I'll be moving to New York City with around $2,200 in my account, and the goal is to get back up to around $3,000 before the end of the month, all while trying to live my life. Basically, I'm just trying to do what everyone else is doing, but without a stable 9-to-5 job. And I'd like to take you along for the ride with me. This is going to be an incredibly transparent series. I'm going to be discussing my financials, personal life, my work, and showing you all of it. At the end of every video, I'll be showing you the amount of money in my account the last day I filmed that video, and whether it's higher or lower than the previous video. So if that kind of thing makes you uncomfortable for some reason, this might not be the best thing to watch. And of course, if I start spiraling out of control, and I start losing money rapidly, I'm moving back home. Immediately. I'm not trying to go completely broke from this. I'm going to be doing as many creative freelance gigs as I can. I'll be doing production assistant, assistant camera, and boom operation work on films, videos, TV shows, and commercials. And I'm hoping to get some audio gear to be able to do freelance sound engineering as well which will pay a little more too. If I'm not doing those physical things, I'm also gonna set myself up on some websites to do freelance video editing and graphic design. If not that, I wanna be doing photography and creating digital art to sell on sites like Redbubble. If not that, learning new skills like coding, 3D modeling, visual effects. Pretty much, I always wanna have a busy day. So that explains what this is. If you're interested in my story, maybe subscribe so you can see where this takes me. If not, it was nice talking to you for however many minutes. Hope you have a good one. Go ahead, you're good. I'm letting you go. No, I'm letting you go. All right, thank you. Thank you. You better put special thanks to Damani and Kate in that video. That's the end of the video right there. <laughs>